students in this class we are going to see what is crystal urea how can we reduce crystal urea and about mixed sulfonamides so first we'll see what is crystal urea the sulfonamides and the metabolites you know they are mostly excreted in urine and they are not water soluble so they are crystallized in the kidney and cause crystal urea so that is called crystal urea so what is that sulfonamides are excreted mostly in the urine and they are not water soluble so they form crystals in the kidney and that is called as crystal urea the ph of sulfamido group of sulfonamide is 10.4 whereas the urine ph is 6 urine ph is 6 whereas uh, ph of sulfamido group is 10.4 so in this pH the only 50% of the drug is ionized. So all the sulfonamides are unionized and occurs as insoluble form in the kidney. So they are coming out of the urine and kidney causes crystal urea. Now we will see steps to reduce crystal urea or methods to adjust the solubility of sulfonamides. First one is we can take plenty of fluid. So if you are doing that the urine flow is increased. Next one is we can increase the pH of urine because urine pH is 6 whereas sulfamido group pH is 10.4. So we can increase the pH of urine. How can we increase that? By oral sodium bicarbonate before sulfonamide dose. Next one is we can decrease the pH of sulfonamide. For that we are using Henderson and Hasselberg equation. So what is that? pH equal to pKa plus log concentration of acid by concentration of base. So from that we are getting pH is directly proportional to pKa. So if the pKa value would be increased, pH should be increased. So value of pKa would be decreased, what happens? pH should be decreased. So we have to decrease the pH of sulfonamide means the pKa we have to decrease the pKa of that ok. So if you are decreasing the pKa automatically the pH should be decreased. So here decreasing the pKa of sulfonamides. So how can we do that by introducing electron withdraw heterocyclic ring in the N1 position. So if you are doing that they can donate the proton more easily. So the pKa value would be lower. Example sort for sulfur diazin it is 6.5, for sulfur uh, sulfizoxazole it is 5, sulfur methoxazole it is 6.1, for sulfur marazin it is 7.1 and for sulfur methazin it is 7.4. Last step is we can use a mixture of sulfonamides that is mixed sulfonamides we can use. If you are doing that what happens the chances of crystal urea would be reduced. Now we will see what are mixed sulfonamides. When several sulfonamides are administered together, their antibacterial action is the summation of activity of total sulfonamide concentration present. So if you are giving a mixture of sulfonamides, the same therapeutic level can be maintained with less chance of crystal urea because only one third of the amount of only one any one compound is present. Example, trisulfapyrimidines that is available in oral suspension and also in tablets. From this we can say trisulfapyrimidines. So three sulfonamides, sulfa drugs and they are having pyrimidines. They are called trisulfapyrimidines. So it is having equal weight of sulfa diazin, sulfa marazin and sulfa methazin with or without the agent to increase the pH of urine. So look at the structure of sulfa diazin. So that is having with the sulfanilamido group it is having pyrimidine. So second portion of pyrimidine is attached with the first nitrogen. And in the case of sulfa marazin, it, other than that pyrimidine, it is having only one methyl here. So for sulfa methazin, two methyls are present here. Next one is sulfodoxin with pyrimethamine. So this combination now that is used for the treatment of plasmodium falciparum malaria in patients who are having chloroquine resistant. And it is used for travelers to areas where chloroquine resistant malaria is endemic. So this is the structure of sulfodoxin. X i n e this is n sulfodoxin. So this is known as sulfanilamido group with the sulfanilamido group what is attached same pyrimidine is attached and that is having two methoxy groups. This is called sulfodoxin n sulfodoxin and look at this this is called pyrimethamine. So what is pyrimethamine? Uh, chlorophenyl. Chlorophenyl with that what is attached same pyrimidine but that is having tri amino groups 
triamino pyrimidine is attached with the chlorophenol so that is called pyrimethamine so what is the use of this combination that is used for the treatment of chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum malaria